Anyway, <clears throat> right, I'll do an Irish one. Seems I spend most of my time there these days. This one's from about 1920, I'll know it was. Right, let's sing now. <laughs> Was down by Brannigan's corner one morning I did stray. I met a fellow rebel and he to me did say, Here's orders from our captain to assemble near Strala. But how are we to get that far without a motor car? Billy, I died, Billy, I died, Billy, I died. Oh, Barney, dear, be of good cheer, I'll tell you what we'll do. The black and tans have plenty cars, but the rebels, they have few. We'll send a wire to Johnson to meet us near Stranla. And we'll give the boys a bloody good ride in Johnson's motor car. Dr. Johnson heard this news, he soon put on his shoes. He said, this is an urgent case and I have no time to lose. He then put on his caster hat and on his breast a star. You can hear the din all through Glenfin and Johnson's motor car. Diddly day day da, diddly day da, da. But when they got to the ribbon bridge, some rebels they saw there. Oh, Johnson knew the game was up for at him, they did stay. He said, I have a permit, but it's travel near or far. To hell with your bloody permit, boy, we want your water car. Set that car in motion, boys, and filled it to the brim. With guns and bayonets shining, which made old Johnson grim. Barney hoisted a Sinn Féin flag and it fluttered like a star. And the IRA went riding away in Johnson's motor car. My loyal brother and think now when they hear the news. My car, it has been commandeered by the rebels near Duluth. We'll give you a receipt for it, all signed by Captain Barr. And when Ireland gets her freedom, boy, you'll get your motor car. <laughs> 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 